Instagram hacking. Now, if you're here to hack into someone's Instagram account, get out of here. We're not doing that. But I am going to show you a hacking tool that you can use to find out information about someone's Instagram account. <laughs> There's little David Bobble. And it's a pretty fun tool. I can't wait to show you. Now, disclaimer, like always, don't hack anyone without permission. While this information is publicly available, it still matters what your intent is. So be careful. Now, speaking of intent, I've got a challenge for you at the end of this video. The skills you learn here, I want you to test it on me. So stay tuned for that. I might even give away some free coffee if you win. And it's pretty good. Now, if you wanna go further down the rabbit hole of becoming a hacker, check out the sponsor of this video, IT Pro TV. They are what I use to study hacking and pretty much everything else from CCNA, A+, Linux+, all that good stuff. They got it. So check them out, link below, use the code network chuck and get 30% off forever. And speaking of hacking, have you hacked the YouTube algorithm today? Let's make sure you do. Hit that like button, subscribe, notification bell, comment. Let's hack YouTube today. Ethically, of course. Anyways, let's um let's start hacking. Okay, first, what do you need? The most important thing you need right now, coffee. You can't hack without coffee. Ah. <sighs> Networkchuck.coffee, check it out. Now, once you brewed your coffee, again, vital step, uh, you'll need a hacking machine, something to do this hack. Now, here we have two options. You can either use the Google Cloud Console, which is free Linux, and it's freaking amazing. No joke, it's awesome. And that will work fine, but ideally what you wanna use is your own Linux virtual machine. I'm gonna be rocking Kali Linux, my favorite hacking Linux distro. Actually, right now it's kinda tied, Kali and Parrot. I'm not sure yet, I'll let you know but any Debian-based Linux machine will work. I do have a link below for the Google Cloud Console. If you wanna see how to use that, I got a video right here. But again, I'll be demonstrating on the Kali box right now. Okay, here in my Kali hacking box, the tool we're gonna to use is called OSINT Gram. I love that name. It's a Python hacking tool, and it's kind of awesome. So let's start using it right now. Let's go ahead and launch our terminal real quick. I'll launch mine right here. The first thing we'll do is download the tool using the git clone command and then the URL. And I will have these commands below in the description. And once you have that in there, go ahead and hit enter and we're downloading. We're cloning and we're good. If I type in ls to see what's there, there it is, osyntgram or osyntgram. Let's jump into that directory real quick. cd osyntgram, bam. Now two things real quick. You wanna make sure you have Python 3 installed, at least Python 3.6 and also pip3. To make sure, go ahead and do this. sudo apt install python3. If you already have it installed, it'll say, hey man, you're good. If not, see, I don't. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. It's actually installing the latest and greatest, python3.9. And then to install pip3, we'll do sudo apt install python3-pip. Yep, we'll go ahead and do that. And we should be solid. Now we have to make sure we have all the requirements for this tool installed. We'll do that with the pip3 command. So pip3, install, ah, spelled it wrong. Install dash r requirements.txt. And hit enter. Now we're almost there, just a couple more things. First, we're gonna make a directory. So I'll do mkdir for make directory, space, config. We're making the config directory. Hit enter, we did it. Now we're gonna jump in there, cd config, we're there. Now real quick, before this next step, you'll need one important thing, a dummy Instagram account. Because in a moment, we're gonna use our username and password to set this up. You don't wanna use your main Instagram account. Let's set up a dummy one that you use just for hacking. I already have mine set up. Go ahead and go set yours up right now and come back and see me. So here we go. We're gonna create three files real quick. So start with this command, echo. And then we'll put in parentheses your Instagram username. Mine is bernard.hackwell, close parentheses. I'll put a space, right arrow, and then the name of my file, which will be username.conf, and hit enter, bam. Again, this was your new dummy Instagram username. And with the echo command, we actually put this text inside that file while also creating the file at the same time. Kind of cool. We're gonna do that same thing again. So we type in echo. And then in parentheses, we're gonna put in the password for that new dummy Instagram account. So I'll put in mine, super secret password. And then again, a right arrow, and then we'll put this inside the file, pw.conf, and go. And then just one more file. We're gonna do echo once more, echo. In parentheses, we'll put in left bracket, right bracket, and then close that in parentheses. Right arrow, and this file will be called settings.json, and hit enter. And that's it, that's the whole setup, you're good. If I do ls in this directory, I can see I have my three files right there. They should look just like this. If they don't, we'll then fix it. 
<laughs> Anyways, let's keep going. Now we can finally start using this hacking tool. Let's go. First, we're gonna get back to our main directory. So I'll do cd dot dot to get back to osintgram. And if I do ls, I should see all this fun stuff right here. The script we're gonna be using is main.py, so we'll start using that right now. I'm gonna type in python3 space main.py, that script. And then I'll put in the username for my target. Right now, I'm gonna attack David Bomble. So David Bomble, and hit enter. So now it's logging in, and we're in. So I can see you right here, Bernard Hackwell is me, my target, David Bomble, not following him, with my fake account, my real account I am. And we can do some fun stuff here. I'm gonna make this a bit longer so we can see it. There we go. To see what we can do, we're gonna type in the list command. And we got a lot of fun stuff we can do. We can do everything from like downloading his stories, his photos, and this is so cool. Hashtags, people who comment on his photos, just a ton of stuff. Let's do a few right now. I'm gonna download his stories. I'll type in stories and it's, it's gonna do it right now. Done, and I'll do one more too. I'll, I'll download his uh, profile pic. So I'll do pro pic. Done. Let's take a look at what we found. I'm gonna do exit to get out, and then uh, goodbye. <laughs> That's cool. LS to see what we have. I believe it's gonna be in the output. So let's um, CD to output. Do LS once more to see what's inside. Look at all this stuff. Ooh, let's take a look at one. Let's open one up. So I'll type in XDG dash open. File name, David Bomble, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I downloaded one of his stories here. Let's take a look at his profile pic. <laughs> There's little David Bomble. All right, let's CD back into our main directory and let's try some more stuff. We'll do our Python 3 main.py David Bomble once more. It's gonna log us in. Let's list our commands again to see what we're dealing with here. This is kind of cool. You can get the emails of the users followed by the target. Let's try that. Command was fwings email. Might take a few moments, coffee break. Oh, that is too cool, look at that. Casey Neistat, David loves Casey Neistat. But no email for him, but look at this. Peter McKinnon, got his stuff. This is kind of interesting, Cisco Live. kmudge at cisco.com, who's that? Of course you got myself down here. David follows me, aw. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Let's do one more. This one's really neat, but it does take a bit. The command addrs, get all the registered addresses for target photos. Let's try that. Sorry, David. ADDRS. Now again, coffee break, this could take a bit. Wait, hold up, I got a throttling error. Please wait a few minutes and try again. Fine. Just means more coffee. I'm gonna go make some more, I'll be right back. All right, got more coffee, let's try it again. Again, here we go. ADDRS. Okay, it's being weird. I'm gonna switch to Google Cloud Console to uh, switch things up. All right, <laughs> I finally got it working with Google Cloud Console. Mm. Ain't work coffee. I had to use another account, but hey, check this out, it worked. I got all the locations of his Instagram post, or well, the ones he tagged, and that's, that's pretty cool, right? Now this should work for you just fine. I, I did it a lot, that's probably why I got throttled, right? But anyways, time for my challenge. This should be a pretty fun OSINT challenge. I want you to tell me where I was September 2nd, 2018. Now I'll give you a hint, it's not on my Instagram account. So you will have to flex some OSINT muscles, your skills, and see how you do. First one to post in the comments below, I will give you a free bag of coffee. And it's good, I promise. Now that was Instagram hacking. Now you're not hacking into Instagram, you're not stealing passwords or anything, but you are using a hacking tool to find out information. And in the hacking world, that's half the battle. OSINT. Now there are other tools to do this, but I love this because it's command line, you feel like a boss when you're doing it, and it's pretty quick when it works. And to be honest, it works most of the time. Just right when I'm recording the video, it doesn't work, of course, right? Anyways, <laughs> let me know what you think of the video below in the comments. Of course, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and all that stuff. Like the video, right? You gotta hack YouTube ethically. And again, if you want to go deeper into hacking or anything IT, check out the sponsor of this video, IT Pro TV. They're awesome. And you get 30% off forever if you use my code network Chuck, so you should check them out. But yeah, that's all I have. I'll catch you guys next time.